Hello guys, in this video I will talk about how to customize item labels in LaTeX, more specifically in itemized and enumerate environments. If you want to learn more about these environments, as well as list in LaTeX, I recommend you watch the video by clicking the link above. Let's start with itemized environment. Here at the right you can see an example. The list has four levels and it uses the default labels. For the first level, the label is bullet point, and for the second one it's bolt and dash, for the third one aesthetics, and for the fourth level it's centered dot. Uh, I should say that itemized environment can have at most four levels. To be able to create a more level, we need to create another list. We cannot use it with itemized environment. And for each label and each level, we have a comment and we can use this label item comment and when we add an at, at the end i it corresponds to first level and similarly if we use double i it corresponds to the second level and to show you how we can modify these uh, labels at each item i will give an example let me first copy this list and paste let's say another an order at least example with customized labels i just uh duplicated the list above and you can see they are exactly the same now we will modify it to be able to change this uh, value of these comments we will use renew comment comment and let's say label okay label item i okay and let's make it text bold so this is the default one okay let me compile and you see that nothing changed okay because we are using the uh, text bullet which is the default value for the label item i and let's do the same for the label item reply and okay so you will see that they are Let's make it text asterisk centered. Okay, I just used the default values. Now I can modify them. Uh, let's say this is diamond instead. And you will see that the first level, uh, level labels will be diamond for each item. And for this third one, we can make it question mark. And you will see that it will appear as question mark. Okay, so this is how you can modify the label at each level. Let's move to the enumerate environment. It's similar but a little bit different because for enumerate we have ordered list. So whenever we use an uh, item at each level, it increases the counter. For example, it's one and the first level and it's two in the second level. And similarly, in the third level, we have I for the first item and we have double I for the second item. Okay. But similarly, we have a, a label comment, which is label enum. And we have I or double I depending on your level. And we also have a counter, which is enum. And again, we have I or double I depending on the level. And here we have a default values for these counters. And the comments that we can use to print counters are here. Uh, as you can see, we have five different comments. Arabic for Arabic numerals, Roman for uh, lowercase Roman numerals. And if you make it R capital, it will be uppercase Roman numerals. And also we have letters, comments for letters. And here you can see the default release in the table. Okay. And before that, I was I, I just want to show you something. Here I am using to create this uh, list. I am using itemize, and you can see the code that I highlighted here. Even though it's itemize, as you can see, they have diamond instead of they should have bullet point, right? The reason is that here we modified that uh, comment. So to make it local, 
So to avoid modifying other other uh, labels in other itemized environments, we need to take it in the curly bracket. Okay. So in this way, let's see. Our example will remain the same, but we are back to the default values. Because when you use this uh, curly bracket, this renew command only works within this curly bracket. Okay, let's move on to enumerate environment and let me give you an example. So again, I am copying these labels and let's say another order at least with customized labels. Okay, basically I just copied and pasted the list above. Now let me modify it. Okay, for the first level, we need comment this is label enum i and again we can make it diamond for example let's see and for the first level it will have diamond label as you can see but it's not an ordered list anymore so somehow we can we should use uh, we, we should keep it as numbered so actually we want to keep it numbered otherwise we would use itemized and for that, for example, I can use Arabic command and for this level, I have the counter enum i. And let's see. Okay. I have one followed by a period and I have two followed by a period. Okay, so this is actually the default value. I use the default one. But for the second level, let me uh, copy this one and let me make it double i and i will add another here so let's make it enum double i for the second one and you will see that it will appear as 1.1 okay so the first one corresponds to the, the first part of the r comment arabic enum i so one is coming from the uh, first level and the second part, the second one, is coming from the second level. For example, let me add another second level item. Second level, second item. And here, as you can see, it appears like this. And also I can add another Okay, so enumerate second level first item and it will appear as 2.1. Okay, so this two coming from the uh, first level item number and one is coming from the second level and since uh, enum double i reset every time we increase enum i we have one here and similarly we can modify the third and fourth level i am copying and pasting and you see it. it's 1.1.1 and lastly let me modify the fourth level And here it is. Okay, you can see how it looks like. And I think that's all for this video. I hope that it was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave a comment.